How's it going guys? In today's lesson, we're going to be going over how we can create custom modifiers in SwiftUI. And this is actually very important because this will give you a lot of freedom with creating the modifiers that have to modify your code in many different places the way you want it to modify because not all of the modifiers that are provided by SwiftUI are going to be necessarily useful to your app. So let's go ahead and learn how we can make our own modifiers and customize them to do what we want them to do. So first let's go ahead and create a sample app, which is going to be a form with the text of hello world. And we're going to add some custom modifiers here. Of course, right now it just says hello world. Then right below that, we're going to go ahead and add a button. And this button is going to say press me with some print statement that's going to say I was pressed. So, so far we have some very basic functionality, but now let's go ahead and create these custom modifiers. And with those custom modifiers, I want to make a certain text style that we can customize the hello world with. And I also want to create a modifier that can horizontally place both of these in the center, instead of, of course, writing spacer, spacer, and putting the element in, inside an H tag. That's actually too much work. We want to make sure we can use that everywhere. So to keep this simple, we're going to go ahead and create an extension on view. So this is going to allow us to attach a modifier to any view we want. And the first one we want to take care of is the centering one. So let's go ahead and type in center H, this will be the modifier that we will create. And it needs to return some view. And inside here, we're going to create an H stack. And we're going to do exactly what we would do earlier to place an element horizontally. And that is create a spacer and actually create two spaces. And inside you want to place the element that you want to center. And in this case, all we have to do is call self, which is the element we are modifying. So for example, now with this being done, we can go to our text element and type in center H and it's going to apply this modifier to the element that we selected. Self is the text view. So the text view is going to be placed inside between these two spaces in an H stack, except this time we did it all with a simple modifier, which is called center H. And that works on the button as well. So we can place that in as many places as we want. And at any point of time, if we want to customize this, all we have to do is go to this function and remove it or do something that's something that's special. And this saves us a lot of hassle because if we had to create this H stack each time we wanted to center an element, it just makes code a lot more unmanageable. But let's go create another sample, which is going to be function special font. And that will also return some view. And inside here, we're going to get self, which is going to get a font of dot system. And we're going to customize everything. So size is going to be 20, weight will be dot bold. And the design will be dot mono spaced. And a foreground color of dot indigo. Now we can go ahead and apply that to the text view. So dot special font. And you'll notice in our app that it's going to say hello world with a very special font. Now there's one last custom modifier I want to show you guys that I think is going to simplify life a lot. And it's a really good example on the power of custom modifiers. And one is that when you create a navigation view, you need to surround and wrap everything in the navigation view, then you need to give it a navigation title, and it kind of becomes a boilerplate code in a certain way. So let's go ahead and simplify that by creating function add navigation view. And it's going to take a title of string, and it's going to return some view. And this is actually surprisingly easy. All we have to do is call the navigation view that we would have called earlier, and say self and inside we type in dot navigation title and insert the title. So now we can add this as a custom modifier to anything we want to add the navigation view. Instead of having to wrap everything, we can now go ahead and type on our form, add navigation view, and the title will be settings or something like that. And it's going to add it to everything in here. And the best part is that it still functions as a normal navigation view, which means if you want to add some more details, you just have to go inside the navigation view and you're going to get all of the navigation modifiers inside there. So you can even go ahead and type in navigation bar title display mode. And inside here, we can type in inline. 
and it's going to create the inline style, the very small text at the top. So we can still edit it, even though it's hidden in a custom modifier. But we'll remove that back to what it was earlier. So as you can see, it was as simple as creating an extension to view. And it's really powerful. You can save a lot of time in the long run. That's why I really wanted to share this with you guys, because it's very important to be able to create custom modifiers, because if you use a certain element a lot, there's no reason to recreate it. It's just a lot easier to make it custom to your own specific needs. But anyways, guys, with that being said, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's video. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.